What the hell? How do people do openings for YouTube videos? Yo, what's up guys? So if you guys click on this video, you probably read the title, which is gonna be something along the lines of, I built a duct tape boat, like I almost drowned. But the reason I'm making this video is because in one of the most recent uploads on the Dan Plan channel, Can You Survive a Quiet Place? One of the common themes that I consistently come back to was duct tape <laughs> fixes everything. This is a known fact. Give me enough duct tape and I will build us a boat. With that being said, you guys noticed and you guys commented about it a bunch. Cover the head in duct tape. So of course I had to do it. So this video is going to be me building a duct tape boat. Now the first half of the video is going to be kind of boring, which is going to be me explaining how I did this. So if you guys want to see me testing the boat out, you guys can click somewhere. I don't know. I, I'm barely a YouTuber, man. Somewhere. It'll bring you to the part that's probably going to be a lot more interesting, which is me testing the boat out. And you guys get to see my first reaction to it in the water. But otherwise, I'm going to jump into this nerd shit. I'm going to do this as fast as I can, just because I don't want to bore you if you decide to continue to watch this part. And I think it's also kind of funny if I say this as fast as I can. Building the boat comes in two parts. Building the frame, which is comprised of assembling the outer shell, assembling the inner ribs, and attaching the shit together. Then covering it with duct tape. Now quickly, I'm gonna say this. I got all the duct tape from Amazon and all of the PVC pipes from a single trip to Home Depot. It should be noted that all of which are about half an inch in diameter. Anyways, I used 10 10 foot long PVC pipes, 28 45 degree couplers, eight rolls of duct tape, and a fuck ton of zip ties. Now, I was partly following an instructables guide, but I was tweaking it around a bit, and a lot of me building this boat was trial and error. So the way I'm explaining it to you guys isn't gonna be in the exact same order as how I built it. But if you're gonna build something like this at home, which I'd advise you not, uh, you, know, you can do whatever you want, but you should probably do it in the order I'm saying because it'll save you a lot of time and I did it in a very inefficient way. The outer shell. The outer shell was built with two 10 foot long PVC pipes and four 45 degree elbows. I took two 10 foot long PVC pipes and attached 45 degree elbows to each of the ends. I then used two three inch PVC pipes to link each of the longer PVC pipes together. And I did this a total of three times because like there's like, if you see a picture of the boat, there's supposed to be like three sets of the shell needs like three layers. Like a Big Mac where it's like the top layer and then the middle layer and then the bottom layer. And I said, like, you need three, okay? Like, at least three, like you could honestly do more. I, I, I Build your own damn duct tape boat, I don't know. The inner ribs of the frame were done with eight 45 degree elbows, six three inch PVC pipes and two 25 inch PVC pipes each. I linked two sets of three of the smaller rods together using the elbows, then linked the sets by putting 25 inch rods in between them. I did this twice making a total of two inner ribs. Attaching the shell and ribs was a bit tricky. It took a lot of trial and error. At first I thought of only using zip ties, but ended up drilling holes into parts of the ribs and shell to attach them all together by putting zip ties through them and then duct taping them over. All right, with that out of the way, all that was left was covering with duct tape. I started with the sides, doing a layer for the lower half first, then the upper half. After this, I taped the bottom of two layers, lined the insides with the plastic bag so my balls didn't get stuck to the tape, then taped the top half. The top half was tricky because it was hard to get inside to line it, so I taped half of the front, lined with plastic bags, then did the remainder of the front, doing the same with the rear of the ship as well. With the top and bottom portions of the stern and bow done, all that was left was to add one more layer to the sides. Yeah. Yo, Dan, come here. Still, insides need to be cleaned up a bit. But this is the complete kayak, oh. dude. Oh, wow! Look at this kayak that I've never <laughs> seen before. It is perfect and amazing. But it's actually pretty dope, bro. So yeah, seems easy enough, right? Like, okay, it was easy to do, nothing was hard, but it took a lot of time. I genuinely thought it was gonna take me 45 minutes to do the frame and then an hour to tape it. But it actually took me at least like 12 to 14 hours to do. Because it took me five hours to build the frame. It took me another five hours to do the duct tape. Now that you guys have gotten all of that out of the way, I guess you guys can see the entertaining part, which is gonna be me testing the boat. Wait, don't, just go to the other side for a bit. Yo. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is this is gonna be the first test of my duct tape kayak. We're trying it in this boat. Or in, or, <laughs> <laughs> so basically this is gonna be the first test of my duct tape kayak. Um, we're trying it for the first time in this pool because I don't wanna drown. Um, yeah. So this was built two or three days ago and I left it out and I think it was a bit warm so that the adhesive and the duct tape seems to have gone undone a bit. So there's a few holes. The tape isn't holding as tight as it did before, but hopefully it's fine. So I'm just gonna throw this into the water. The first dip. Dude, it's floating. Okay, test number one, float test, work. <gasps> no. Yo, oh my god. It freaking works, 
Bro, come to me. Come to me. Dude, check this out. Oh shit. There's a wall. Do you feel water in your legs? I don't think so. <laughs> Yo, can you not exist? <laughs> I don't know if this is what people expected when you said you were gonna build a duct tape boat. Yeah, there's see, definitely water there's in there. There's a leak in here. There's definitely water in here. But right now, this is going really good. I'm really happy with this. Wait, wait, wait. stay with me. Um, is this... Is this family friendly? <laughs> of course it's not. <laughs> How are you gonna get out? I have no idea. This video is sponsored by duct tapes. <laughs> Any duct tape company. <laughs> I'd say this was pretty successful. You know? <laughs> Look at that. That's not bad for a duct tape boat. Like, okay, if I was stuck on an island, like I'd be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> How successful did you think it was gonna be though? I thought, when I saw like the, now I left it overnight and the tape came undone, I was like, oh, I'm so screwed. Like this is not gonna work. So like it's way more successful than I thought it was going to be. Like I thought it was gonna be like a, a five. Uh, yeah, that it would pass. Like I thought it would be that like- That it would flow. <laughs> yeah, that would flow. So I'd say it's a seven or an eight. Okay. I mean, it's not bad at all, man. This is all of the water inside of the boat. So there's obviously like some leaks. Better than nothing, like it's better than just a piece of wood and floating. That's true. Would you recommend that people do this if, if they need to survive? If they were in a deserted island with just a lot of duct tape, do you think they should make a boat out of duct tape? 